here we are again. You are safe in my arms. You're sitting comfortably right here next to me. Well, probably on top of me. Because you like it cozy. You like the feeling of being safe. And to be honest, this is like one of my highest priorities to make you feel good and safe. Well, I'm glad that you're here, that you found your way to this beautiful place. You can call this place paradise. You can call it a safe place. You can call it whatever you want. I just want to share some thoughts of mine with you. Thoughts that could help you, could change your thinking the way you're thinking. And so much more. Did you know how strong you are? And I mean it, do you know how strong you actually are? Hmm. This is what I thought. And that your answer is, no, I didn't know. <sighs> the power that you have is unlimited. Sometimes in life, we get to the point where we got so much pressure, so much stress, so much things on our shoulders that trying to weigh us down, to bring us down, things that we actually cannot even control. And still, in these times, in these moments, we <laughs> kind of get into a position of feeling overwhelmed. <sighs> and I know how that feels. Feeling overwhelmed is something that we shouldn't feel. We should be at ease, at peace. We should feel like a feather, just easy, easy. And I wanna give you some insights on how to get rid of those things so you can actually put all the weights that are not necessary aside, put them away, throw them out because you don't need them. You won't need them in your future. You won't need them in the here and right now. So what's the point of carrying all these negative things that might disturb you on your road because everybody <laughs> you and me we are on the road to somewhere some of us <laughs> don't even know where to go some of us haven't even think about what they want to be or do in life so I was one of them I was literally just doing whatever I had to do. I was uh, going to school, I studied, and then I started working somewhere. <laughs> and I didn't do it because I wanted to, because I had to. I had to do all these things because that's what we have been told all our lives, right? And to be honest, there was a point where I had enough is enough. The moments of 
I don't want to do any, like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so sick and tired of all that. Why am I still doing this? I mean, there must be more out there. There must be more to do, to become. And then I ask myself, what do I need to do? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Am I for real a real strong person? Because someone told me that? To be honest, no one did. Like, just imagine yourself. Did someone the last two days, for example, did someone <laughs> acknowledge your strength? Did someone say to you, Wow, you are so strong. Within the last two days, did anyone do this? Well, in most cases, no one experienced this. It's because it doesn't matter if someone is telling you that you are strong. It really matters to think yourself that you're strong so it's much more important what you think about yourself what you tell yourself so in the beginning of this video i just said that you are strong right that you have the power well this is just an impulse just like a like tapping on your shoulder and saying hey baby <laughs> you are strong and then the key here is to actually questioning yourself if you are really strong. And deep down, we both know you are. But you gotta accept your own reality. You gotta embrace your positivity and the way you think, the way you feel. Because it's all in you, baby. You can actually do anything in this world if you truly believe in it put work and effort in it and of course you know forget the concept of time some of you think oh I gotta start this maybe for example some uh, TikTok account and then trying to go viral as quick as possible so then you never have to work again in your job or whatever it is well, this is like the wrong mindset, to be honest. Of course, there are stories where this is really happening, but zooming out and looking at it uh, from the macro perspective, you can definitely see that most people are taking that time. It needs time. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Everything precious needs time to grow. Okay? And even if you don't see a way, there is a way. You got to have a closer look on the things. Maybe switch up the perspectives and instead of standing in front of the, the challenge, the, the wants and needs, just go a little bit to the right side or to the left side or view it on top or below. You know, there are so many ways that you can actually make your dreams come true. And I mean it. And I want you to think about it. Of course, I'm not going to say that or force you to uh, think about it. No, I just give you <laughs> this kind of sweet ass kick <laughs> that is just giving you the power to think more closely to what you really want. You know? <laughs> Because I just want the best for you. Everyone, like every single soul that is listening to my audios, my videos, following me wherever I am. Wow. 
to be honest. I just want you to be happy. I just want you to be safe, to be secured in a place of safety, in a world where there is no judgment, you know, a world where you are just accepted by the person that you are. And this, ah, uh, you got to understand your own worth. I can tell you how beautiful you are. Yes, you are. But you got to believe it way more than I do. Okay. That is like my, my exercise that I want to give you is start to talk to yourself positively every single day. And if you were a person that was um, talking negatively to yourself every single day, like, oh, I'm ugly. Oh, I'm stupid. Or um, things like, oh, it's so embarrassing. I am so embarrassing. Like things like of that nature, please stop it. Stop it. You don't, because this is like a self-fulfilling prophecy that you do. Because every single time, just imagine, when you said, I am stupid or dumb, how did it make you feel? It made you feel bad. And guess what? You had a bad feeling about yourself. And guess what? You were actually radiating this negative energy outside. So what would happen? More negative stuff. And you were just adding it up. So unconsciously, you didn't even know that. And sometimes people that are conscious about things don't notice that too because it has been a bad habit throughout the time. So you need to focus on how you are talking to yourself. Understand, baby? Because if not, I would be really sad. I would be, you know, kind of sad because you have so much potential inside of you. You have the power to change and improves, improve your own life, improve people's life that deserve it, obviously. And that is like just up to you, whether you do it or not. Of course, I'm not going to control you. I'm not going to stand in the mirror every morning and uh, look at you and be like, huh, are you talking good to yourself? Do you say I'm beautiful? Do you say like the opposite of the negative? Say like, I'm beautiful. I'm a blessing. I am such a wonderful soul. <laughs> Having me in this life is like uh, winning the lottery, but even better. Okay? Things of that nature. I'm strong. I'm powerful. Just be really like convicted to say that about yourself. You can do it in your mind. You can uh, say it out loud. And I would suggest you to do it both ways. Because sometimes when we are in public and we are maybe in a crowd, we don't like scream out that we are strong because uh, that would be like, you know, people would look weird and they wouldn't understand and they would probably think we're crazy. Obviously, we could do this and sometimes I do it, <laughs> but, um, you know, to keep it low key and smart, we just do it like also throughout the day in our minds to talk to yourself because this voice is always talking, right? It's always talking. It's always moving. So the key is to literally understand that your words matter. The way you talk, the way you feel, it matters. And it's essential. Because if you talk positively, you're going to have more positivity around you. So just think of that. Okay? Think of it really, really well, because at the end of the day, as I mentioned before, when I started YouTube, when I started to create those videos, I always had the intention to make someone's life better, whether it's from being um, not so confident to a woman with confidence to someone that is really, really powerful in thinking and acting and reacting things of that nature or someone that was kind of lonely felt not so safe i was always focusing on giving you the best as possible you know i am just trying my best to provide for you to find ways to make you feel comfortable to make you feel loved and appreciate it. 
you know, reading my bio, you can see. That was the first, like the first mission statement for myself. What do I want to do with Snuggly Boy? Like, what should this Snuggly Boy do? Like, is he just there for entertainment purposes only? Is he just trying to do some role plays? that are just role plays or is there any message that I want to give through Snuggly Boy to change your mind in a positive way to give you some insights of how I think and how I cope with challenges and life in general I just want you to grow and bloom even more I want you to become even better at your life I want you to have this life. I want you to one day, <laughs> one day when you're like, when it's the last day, you know, the last day of us. Could be in a hundred years or two hundred years or even a thousand years. <laughs> We're gonna live so long. <laughs> just, I imagine like you're gonna text me or just call me or meet me in person, wherever. And you're gonna say at your last breath, it was worth it. It was worth to just listen to some words and put it into action that Snuggly Boy was saying and just doing it, you know, executing on it. And this, my love, is just amazing to think about, to be able to talk to the world specifically. And you can do it too. You can do it. You can talk to the world, to the right ones, to the beautiful ones. And I'm not talking about the looks, you know that. I'm talking about the soul, the mind, the heart. Woo! I love that. Literally. You can literally change your, your life and the lives of your loved ones. So while you're sitting here on top of me, on my lap here, listening to my words and thinking about your own life, what could be better? What could you change? I want you to know that you can do it. Okay? You can do it. And I'm here along the way. I'm here for you along the way. Huh? I don't miss, you know. I definitely speak from the heart and that's why it touches your heart. I wish you a beautiful night, a beautiful day from wherever you're watching. Be safe, take care of yourself and don't forget <laughs> that I love you. Yes, I love you, even from distance.